Hola. Hello and welcome to Voices of Angola. Today we meet Mama Kwiba, an excellent chef of traditional Angolan flavors, elected three times as Personality of the Year by the people themselves. Here in Angola, you will find all kinds of cuisine, from street food to the finest dishes. Let's discover the impressive story of this 83-year-old woman who is a symbol of Angolan culture around the world. She starts out like any shopper in the capital Luanda, on her way to pick the right ingredients to do her magic. Angolan cuisine that's won the hearts and palates of her fellow Angolans and beyond. That's why Mama Kuiba's entrance to the market is an event in itself. She's greeted as culinary royalty. Mama Kuiba, she's an icon. She's like an ambassador for Angolan cuisine. And she's also an amazing lady. She's done an amazing work for the flavors of Angola. She may be well loved, but she's also a demanding customer. It was in the market where she got started. Her real name is Catarina Verissimo da Costa. She is also known as Natalia because she was born on Christmas Day, or as Mama Kuiba, which means ugly in Kimbundu. I got that name when I started selling on the market. At that time, I was 38 years old, and there were girls there in their 20s who were young, pretty, with nice hairdos and makeup. I was the oldest and wore a scarf. I had to give in. I was the ugliest, and I started the Mama Kuiba stall where you could eat and drink. In the beginning, I started selling drinks, sodas and juice. As I had small children, I bought a stove right there in the market. I bought an old wooden table and people started saying, back when I wasn't known as Mama Kuiba yet, people would say, Madame Natalia, we can smell food. I told them I was cooking this food for my kids when they were back from school or for my husband for when he leaves work and comes by here. They'd say, oh no, Madame Natalia, just give us anything. So I would take a little plate and put it on the table. And it took off from there. But it's still hard work, the slicing and dicing, the preparation. Hygiene is something Mama Kuiba has been pushing for on the market, for the good of the market, and not just this market, but all of Luanda's markets. She has been raising awareness about hygiene amongst the salespeople. Hygiene in their work must come first. Hygiene is first, and then you sell your products. When Mama Kuiba moved her business from the market to the restaurant, she first cooked for Angola's top football team. I opened the restaurant on a Saturday. I forget the year, it was when Prime de Agosto had a great game that they'd won. The first clients that showed up were the coach and players of Prime de Agosto. From her kitchen to one of Angola's top restaurants, Mama Kuiba's creations have won over hearts, minds, and taste buds. We're talking about, for example, the mufet, which is grilled fish, with also some sweet potato, some banana, and uh, some cassava. She's also been a social influencer, demonstrating her cooking skills, campaigning for different causes, like combating violence against women. She's even appeared on the reality show Big Brother. She's very known. She's actually been on TV several times, cooking and giving advices to friends and family and to the whole population in general. And what are her culinary influences? Her mother's kitchen and learning on the job. People turn up with pencils and ask, how do you make this stew? How do you make these fillets? I don't know the right words. I live food. This national icon has had an impressive life and she still has the energy of someone half her age. That's all for today on Voices of Angola. You can see this report again on the webpage dedicated to Angola on Euronews.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.